first time. Don't always shy away from dirty water in the springtime. Holds that heat. A couple of techniques to start with. Fishing in dirty water, chatterbait and spinnerbait, can't go wrong. Um, now, my color selection, I may opt for a more natural color when I'm fishing in clear water, but stained water, a little bit of gold, a little chartreuse, reds, oranges, things like that are gonna work real good for you. So spinnerbait, chatterbait, really good option in the springtime. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of muddy conditions, and those are two good baits for you. They're going to work. Now with my spinnerbait and my chatterbaits, and any baits in that category, swim jigs, things like that, I'm using them in mostly stained water, and I'm going to use them to cover the banks. I'm going to fish some of this flooded cover. I'm going to just, you know, I can find them on rocks, any transitions, little secondary points, whatever the case is. It's a good way to cover water in dirty water. Fish react to them. They got a lot of vibration and flash. Always a good selection. You know, a lot of times if I find fish on those baits, I may circle back with another bait that I can kind of pick the area apart, whether it be flipping plastics, jigs, uh, crank baits, square bills, whatever the case is. That's a good way to locate fish. Your water though, baits have been working well for me. Jerk baits, crank baits, any variation of a worm, whether it be a Ned, a Nico style, shaky head, wacky rigs, all that stuff's gonna be really consistent for you in the springtime, especially in clear water. And if you're fishing it in dirty water, you may go for a darker color, you know, a black or June bug or something like that. Just depends on the water clarity where you're at. But that is a bait that's always gonna work for you. You're gonna hear me talk about it a lot. This is Z-Man Zinkers. I use this bait a lot in a lot of different scenarios. A lot of other worms work well too. Um, you got the, uh, the bang sticks is another really good one. You got your smaller baits, the hula sticks. Those are always gonna work for you. They work especially well in the springtime. I like jerk baits um, and my spinner baits, chatter baits covering water. That's what I like to use those for. I can cover water if it gets windy. It's a lot easier to fish those than versus the, uh, you know, the worm or the slower presentation. Now there's a lot of other techniques that work really well for you too. I just want to put out some general information there to help some guys out. If you're getting out on the water, maybe you got some free time with this, uh, you know, situation that's going on with the virus scare and everything. Hey, get out on the lake, enjoy some fishing. And these techniques day in, day out are going to work really well for you. And they're consistent players no matter where you're at. So. Be on the lookout for fish moving up, starting to get shallow. You still got a lot of pre-spawn fish that are gonna be staging out too over the next couple of weeks. So it's not only one type of bite that works really well. You can find shallow fish, you can still find mid-range fish, still catching fish in 30 and 40 feet and some big ones out there too. Guide trips, look up my site, robjordanfishing.com. Gonna have a new site up here in a little while, but for right now, robjordanfishing.com. Check it out, you can get in touch with me that way. And I really appreciate all you guys watching. Appreciate your suggestions and comments. Hey, we're going to be doing a lot more of these fishing report videos this year. Going to try to help people out, answer some questions, talk about some different techniques and patterns that work not only here on Lanier, but a lot of the lakes in our area. And the number one thing about it that's really cool is it's 100% free. All you got to do is click the subscribe button, and uh, I really appreciate you watching, guys. Take care. Best of luck on the water. Catch them up.